In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with tree diagrams. In example A, it says, if you toss a coin two times, what is the probability of getting two heads? Use a tree diagram to find your answer. So the tree diagram is a way to organize all the possible outcomes that could happen when you do flip a coin two times. So we wanna think about what happens first. Well, you start out and you flip the coin once. And there are two possible outcomes. You could get heads or you could get tails. And the probability of each of those is one half. Because you're going to get one or the other and there's an equal chance of getting each one. Now after you flip the coin the first time, you're going to flip it again. So we're going to add another set of branches off of each of these endpoints. So say we got heads originally. Then the second time we could get either heads or tails again, with the probabilities being one half again in each case. Similarly, if we got tails to start out with, we could get heads or tails for our second toss. And the probabilities are one half and one half. And now we are done with the tree diagram because we've organized all that could happen when you flip a coin two times. This first set right here represents the first toss of the coin, and right here, all of these represent the second toss of the coin. Now we can figure out the probabilities of each of these. We're actually particularly interested in this situation of getting heads and then heads, because that's what the question asked. What is the probability of getting two heads? Now, because our events are independent, we can multiply the probabilities to figure out the probability of each ultimate outcome. So the probability of two heads will be one half times one half, which is one fourth. Because everything in this whole picture is one half, all the probabilities, the probability for each sequence of branches will be one half. So the probability of, for example, heads, then tails, is also one half times one half, which is one fourth. And you could do the same thing for the last two. So the probability of each of these four outcomes is one fourth. And what we care about ultimately is this one. To answer our question, the probability of getting two heads is one fourth. Let's look at example B. Urban opens up his sock drawer to get a pair of socks to wear to school. He looks in the sock drawer and sees four red socks, eight white socks, and six brown socks. Urban reaches into the drawer and pulls out a red sock. He is wearing blue shorts, so he replaces it. He then draws out a white sock. What is the probability that Urban pulls out a red sock, replaces it, and then pulls out a white sock? So we can again use a tree diagram to organize what's going on. We're talking about pulling out a sock from a drawer twice, and in each case we could pull out red, white, or brown. So let's start by organizing our first pulling out of a sock, which would be a tree that has three branches to start. And the branches would be labeled red, white, and brown. Now we want to think about the probabilities of each of these. He has four red, eight white, and six brown. So in total, he has 18 socks, four of which are red. So the probability of red is four out of 18. Eight are white, so the probability of white is eight out of 18. And six are brown, so the probability of brown is six out of 18. Now once he has pulled out a sock and replaced it and pulling out, is now pulling out another one, we need to add more branches to our tree. Ultimately, you would need to add three more branches to each of these endpoints because there's three possible colors you could choose for each of the colors you could have chosen the first time. But instead of filling out this whole tree diagram, let's look at what the question is actually asking, which is, what is the probability that he pulls out a red sock and then a white sock? So we're really only worried about this part, red and then white. 
So let's not fill in this bottom section and just fill out the top part. So say he got red the first time, which is a probability of four out of 18. Then you could get red a second time, probability of four out of 18, or white, probability of eight out of 18, or blue, probability of six out of 18. Keep in mind that because he replaced the sock, the probabilities are still out of 18. If he had kept the sock that he picked, so he picked a red one and kept it, then all of these numbers would have to be out of 17, and there would only be three red socks left for this part right here. So now we're worried about red and then white. So all we need to do at this point is multiply those two probabilities. So the probability of red then white equals 4 out of 18 times 8 out of 18 or 8 out of 81.